Circumcised. The Bootleg Series. Hello and welcome. This is Drew Stories, episode 61. We're having fun. I am your host, Drew Brooks. Uh, I'm joined by... Uh, what was your name? Rusty Saddle? Rusty Saddle. Rusty Shackle. A.K.A. the Guatemalan Wonder. Yo, 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 yo. Shout out to everybody that's hanging out, who's hung out, who's returning to hang. And all the in-between... Thank you so much. We know it's tough out there, but uh, we're going to try to be more consistent. Right? Yeah. Aren't, don't you feel? I think we're doing it. I, I think, think it speaks for actions speak louder than words, so we're kind of doing the worst option, which is to talk. We're back on track. A track. We're back on a track, I guess. Yeah. So anyway, um, we were just talking about <clears throat> the fine line of stealing oh, yeah. material and, and uh, because of the... Carlos Mencina. You think he's done enough time? If you all don't know, he got Mr. he got Mencia. into a he got into it with J- Joe Rogan. Joe right? Rogan because he was um, stealing people's stuff. He was like staying late at the clubs. Oh, he still apparently does the same shit though. Today. Oh, really? Deep, for real? Well, I was watching the, bo- the like I sent you the Bobby Lee like uh, sort of uh, interview and I don't watch it. those things sometimes that you send me. Yeah, I know. I usually don't, but it's fine. It was a sort of the <laughs> abridged version where. It Give you like the highlights of the conversation. That's pretty helpful. It, yeah, because it's like a two-hour podcast, and it sums it up in half an hour. So I don't know. Sometimes I do, but here's the funny thing: sometimes I'll sit through two hours of fucking podcast with, and not even be phased by it. Yeah. But sometimes I'm listening to five minutes of a podcast, and I want to find a way to kill myself. I don't know what the. It, maybe it's just the material or the content. Yeah. But uh, I've I've had some tough tough you know what you know I gotta tell you something I've had a rough go I tried to get cable again I don't know maybe I wanted to be retro yeah or something but I wanted to get cable and uh, so old school yeah super old school yeah but they have an they have an app here they Ooh. have a fucking app yeah let me just be a customer service complainer right now you gotta wait a long time on the phone. To get anybody to pick up or do anything for mm. you, right? Like a long, like a long time with that bad music, with the bad music, not yeah. something fun. It's not Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. It's like some really bad jingle that goes on. And yeah, on it's steely down. And then in between it, it's trying to sell you shit. Mm. So not only are you waiting for to be taken advantage of. And they're giving you a horrible music, but to interrupt that horrible music, they're gonna throw an ad for their own shit in there, right? Oh. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> I sit through this because I like pain, and then I I get a, I finally get a, a customer service rep, and they're real nice. They got like a southern accent and shit. They were real nice. How you doing? And I bought a package, and here's the fucking truth. I got it to watch the basketball game, to just be and to have it again, and then I get it, and it's not. It doesn't work, and so I call them and I go, "Hey, this thing that I just got from yeah. you it doesn't work," and, and they go, "Yeah, we know." And I go, what? what? And they go, yeah, there's just an outage in your area. And I was like, well, then wouldn't Son you let... You, me, you give me... You got me to buy the shit first, even though you knew you didn't have it. It's like, I felt like they just pulled the rug right from underneath me, Adolfo. Yes. You know what I what? do um, when I have like an internet outage is like I look up on their website uh, like via zip code... And uh, okay. it'll give you like places where there might have been an outage. So you got to do the detective work a little bit yourself. Yeah, but it's the only cert. Like, do, do you prefer I feel text like message? The internet's the only. Yeah, I, I, uh, with everything. Sorry, it's okay. Um, I feel like now with everything, it's like you've got to you got to wait a bunch of time, and then. But the, 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 here's here's my point about this. I think the internet is the only service that you can get interrupted all the time. Have to reboot, restart, yeah. unplug. Huh. Huh. And and somehow you still have to pay the same amount. Because I feel like it should ebb and flow with your service. I feel like your service, if it sucked for the month of June, you should pay a lower rate. Uh, it doesn't work like that. 
Really? You think I'm being ridiculous? No, I just like I wish it would, but oh, it's like, okay. eh, it's really never gonna happen. You're right. It's ridiculous. You know, just expect gas to be eight dollars. You know why? Because of Joe Biden, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like how Dude. everybody wants to complain one guy who's barely alive. Dude, I, it's just like honestly, I could give less of a shit about pol I could not give less of a shit about politics. I used to be really into politics. Yeah, and I, when? yeah. Oh, you were. I remember. I, I used to. I, I went to two community course uh, courses for poli sci, poli sci one and poli sci two guys. Yeah, right? you were. You were government. deep. You were deep in the cut. I remember because you are in all. Even you were uh, wore graphic tees with sort of messages on them. I check. did. I, <laughs> I had graphic tees that were controversial. Now mm -hmm. my material on stage is controversial. <laughs> Isn't it funny how we've yeah. evolved? I know. Mutated. Want to pick your whatever the word you want? Mutated evolved but True. you know what uh i'm pretty surprised um it's gone the way that it's gone we've clearly seen a lot of strange people that don't inspire you so much like that's the thing that i realized about like having a president is like they gotta be a little together just a little bit yeah you don't have to be here's the thing obama tough to live up to fucking cool dude yeah. Right. Cool, but not right. not cool, not too cool. Right. Never too cool. He wanted to make was like made to look cool, but in reality, sure. he was like kind of a bad person too, though. Well, I think the the position uh. is always a puppet, right? That position is always kind of a puppet. They're not doing, they're not saving the world. Yeah. Mostly, they're, they're just garbage. holding shit. All right. Well, I really am like so negative about like. Yeah, you really are. Politics. Everybody's what? phony in that shit. They're all bad people, dude. Nobody's actually trying to look out for your best interests. Oh, Y'all get sucked into it. For you to think that your vote makes a difference, I'm sorry. I'm over that shit, dude. You think it's all just a It's crop? a fallacy. I think it's you and your and your it's a fallacy for you and your like sad pathetic minds. And everybody, oh my god, you didn't vote, you didn't vote. Like, shut up, dude. Like So what you're you know, telling me is that you've gone the way of like an anarchist. Where you're just like it does nothing matters. I guess so. I mean but I don't you think know, that's right. But you know, I know, no, 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 I, I will argue. I, I do think local politics matter. That's the only one that local matters. Local interesting stance. Me city local, measures, locals only. Props. And and you think on a governmental level, on a nationwide level, okay. nobody's on the level. Senator, <clears throat> like like U.S. senators. Look at them. They're, they're all, all like they're all old and white, right? Like U.S. represent U.S. representatives in your states and stuff like that. State senators, even fuck them. Here's what I'd like. How about the to community say. organizers? How about that? Give it up to the council people. Yeah. Give it up to the city council people. Eh. Or not those people. Those people not, are corrupt too. Not the LA Board of uh, Supervisors either, because they handle like a shit ton of money. Like How I think like ten know billion dollars a year. Huh? Oh, that they're allowed to use it to their well, discretion. Meaning well, they allocate their car it. payments. They allocate no. Well, they allocate it to to the people that are the the services that they feel should get it. You what know? is your percentage? What do you think the percentage in the city that we live in, the great city of angels? Yeah, city of Los Angeles. Los Angeles. What do you think the percentage is of corruption in general? Like, would you say it's like seven fifty fifty seventy percent? I think like a thousand percent. Okay, no, fine. <laughs> no, we've come uh, a long way, Adolfo, and you keep bringing it back. Uh, honestly, I mean, it must be pretty bad. I mean, I can only imagine. Like, it has to be local, right. Local politics. Here, like government here's where I know there has to be. Yeah. Because they do things here that don't make any sense. Like they have construction going on, every all the time, like. Of street, they just look like they're digging up the street and putting street back together. And I'm like, did you do even get in there? Did mm -hmm. you even no. like blow out the the the, the pipes or what? I don't know if you were even doing something. His neighborhood's a mess, everybody. My neighborhood is a mess. It's a mess. It's a, it's a really really Sh not it didn't hand, handle the pandy well. No. Let's just say that it no. took a couple lumps, bro. Yeah, paper is alley got repaved. Everybody recently. Shout out to whoever, whoever did that is had to, it's a work of art because it's it was so bad it was so like it looked like a it looked like brasilia yeah the favelas in brasilia yeah yeah you know who you know who's <laughs> really into like uh like my, my uh like local politics is like my uncle yeah he's uh he has like the number for like his like a representative is he second generation like are you first generation or second I'm first generation first generation he's right. he's, he's he's from that generation he's he is 
He, ne- negative one. He, he's he came over <laughs> here. He immigrated here. <laughs> he's negative first. And now the home, my homie's got like a house and everything, and like that's dope. He's like a little. He like organizes like cleanups in the neighborhood because he lives in Can South I tell Central. You something. There's a guy who who clearly either owns property or lives definitely lives in the neighborhood, and he comes out with one of them pincher claws mm-hmm. and picks all the trash. Picks all the fucking neighborhood trash up, and it's like. I'm just going to say it. A lot of it comes from just kids. Oh, I bet. Kids just being kids. Kids, Get, gross. P- kids getting some Takis. <laughs> the Takis, bro. <laughs> Throwing oh, the trash right down the fucking gr- ground. But this dude just has the mellowest. And you know what? Brody, I said thank you one time. And he was like, you're welcome. He He even knew, like, he said you're welcome all like, Thank you for your acknowledgement. Kind of, yeah. you're welcome. He was a real interesting. He's like an older white dude with obviously the time to okay. do that. Yeah, maybe just he's old time them life. He's got. He's an old time. Too much. Like I, I don't think he has any pets. You know what I'm saying? No. Um, he, needs, he might need a pet. Yeah, he might. Low, low doggy. I got sent a video. I'm not gonna say who sent it to me because I don't blow up people's spots like you do. I but I was sent a video. Fuck. Come at me, Saddle Ranch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he, I was sent this video uh, in the middle of ne- the. He doesn't. This is a person that sent me this. Is not. We don't have like a texting relationship. Really, it's really it's really minimal. Minimal. Okay. Okay. Word. He sends me the video <clears throat> with no warning, and it was a video of a cops. Or no, just the um, uh, chest camera, not of a cop, Mm. of a shooting that was so incredibly graphic, super obviously real. Yeah. um, And incredible, like, it was obviously one of those videos that gets leaked. Mm. Like, someone got that video or, like, the cops got the you know, killed the suspect or whatever and then got the video off of him and then that video leaked. And let me tell you something, buddy. It was the first time in a very long time where I was like, I didn't need to see that at all. No. Oh. Like, it was really truthfully oh. one of those times where I was like, I, w- I would actually prefer not to remember that because um, it was so, especially with what was what's obviously going on, which is like... It's really the brutality. Yeah, just with the gun business, right? The gun, the gun thing is a real topic. It's real hot, uh, hot topic right yeah. now. Obviously, yeah. and and without even joking, it's, about a, hot it now, it's my, a hot topic in my hot topic. <laughs> yes, it is. Which is a problem. Again, you're a problem. You're clearly call, the problem. Call me, call me problem child number two. You yeah. are the problem <laughs> child number two, dude. Um, but it just it was so, and it reminded me of like the early internets where. People were sending like really wild videos out there, mm. and they were on like LimeWire and, oh, and shit like that. Yeah, you remember that where it was yeah, just like you yeah, could download LimeWire. anything. Yeah. It was crazy. It was insane. And um, I just yeah. I just remember going over to everyone's house and them being like, "You want anything? <laughs> I have everything there is. I can bring you any CD. What ever. movie you want?" <laughs> and they'll just dial it in. I remember there's so many. People I know that just had anything. You remember sometimes though that like you put in like a, a title or something and then just be like porn though. <laughs> no, that never happened to you. It happened to me all the time. You mean you, no? It I, I never got s- straight bamboozled like that. I mean, is I don't. That, is I don't, that a word I can use anymore? Not even because it was free, but I, they would literally like sp- if not like the whole thing would be porn sometimes. Oh, like they they sprinkle. They'd like sprinkle some some fucking under like if say for instance it was like under like Shania Twain or something and you like be sh- down like yeah, Shania Twain getting fucked in the ass by like six sh- black guys or whatever <laughs> like I so, kid you not I swear to God that's, that's interesting no I don't remember that so much as I remember and then it'd always be like <laughs> this it'd usually be like Touch. sometimes like the same porn video and it'd just be like of this like one blonde chick getting like railed from the back huh. um. And she kind of like she kind of like looked like Trish Stratus. I don't know? know who that is. Who's that? The one of the biggest female wrestlers in <laughs> WWE history. Are you serious? Hall of Famer. Sorry. Whoa, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Next, You're right. I'm a, next I'm, Alita. I'm a fool for not knowing who that is. A thousand percent. Glad you acknowledged <laughs> it on the pod. 
That's ridiculous, dude. You're ridiculous. Your ridiculousness, dude. Um, you Rob Deerdick, dude. No, I just remember. I. <laughs> uh oh. Speaking of which, dude, I. There was like a Paramount. Now I have Paramount Plus. Did we get Paramount Plus together? I got Paramount Plus. I logged oh. in. I logged into my oh, account okay. here. <laughs> did we get Paramount Plus? When do we? When do we have a bank account together? <laughs> I just there's so many apps now I that, I, <laughs> that, that I was like, I remember waking up and being like, "The fuck is that?" And then logging in, and then Paramount Plus is like kind of. Ghetto. Hey, don't you think I love Paramount <laughs> Plus? What are you talking about? It's got like the it's got shit that like really like Sorry, random like that. Paramount stuff that you would not find. Like okay, it's got the new South Park shit on there. That is pretty cool. All, all right, jackass all right, shit, all right. jackass shit, jackass shits on there too. Yeah, it's it's all the MTV shit, right? MTV, oh, CBS. Oh, 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 that's why. That's it's what CBS. Remember. So thing too. Yeah, Viacom, right? Viacom, right. Viacom, so a bitch. corporates. Corporations making money off of you. Monopoly. Yeah, good for them. Go for it. I get my salad very close to their little offices. <laughs> um, the thing about it is, though, is that the reason I brought that up was that I didn't really know where, because I don't know. There's a thousand apps now, and yeah. so I just I was like, oh, shit, okay. And then I saw that there was the Yo! MTV Raps. Yo MTV raps, get out of here. And I've watched, and the thing is, they're the old ones. Not some like, because I know that ones? they're remaking it, right? Somebody told me that they're remaking Are it, they? which I hope is a fucking fallacy. But um, regardless, I got in there, and they were dynamite. Yeah. There's some of the, dude, the Wu-Tang one alone? Just the Wu-Tang episode. And that all of them, and they're like, just is about to explode and become this phenomenon. It was right before that. Yeah. And it's really interesting. They have a De La Soul episode. There's just, it, I'm telling you, it was just a delight to go down memory lane that I didn't really, I was even fair to say, especially with the earlier episodes, the Fab Five, Fre uh, Fab Five Freddy. Mm. Those, some of those with the LL Cool J and shit, I was too young for that. So okay. it was like, it's it's really kind of an education too. It's just a great document Okay. Uh, to great. the early stages of what now we know is this global bullshit, like this huge pop music like thing, which was so small back then. Question, is rock music dead? Great question. That's a really great question. Um, and I won't avoid it. I'll try to answer that question. Is, yes or no, is, but give me an explanation. After. Okay. Uh, yes. Oof. Uh, but things I think work in in cycles. Yeah, like fashion. Here's the thing: rock as we know it, I think is rock is, as we know it is dead. But I okay. think that it will. Chances are, especially because acts la last forever now, because of festivals, you know. You can have like a little niche band and be like, we only play fucking, you know, electric country music or whatever. I mean, but it's not weird, though. Like you think about it, like rock music is dead, but like country music, which is like rock music just with its own like flair to it. Yeah. It's thriving more than ever. Hip hop still evolving from what it was like. In but the still 70s. the breadwinner, don't yeah. you think? Yeah. Yeah. What by like a landslide. Yeah, that Spanish artists are a lot are, oh, are dominating right now. Fuck too. yeah! I mean, what would you? What's the Rosalia, category? I don't know other. But like Bad Bunny and shit like that. That's yeah. like global phenomenon shit. You know. I don't want to say like regga not regaton. I don't know what no. it is. Yeah. I don't know. What, I'm not sure what it is. But like, uh, I don't know. Mainstream. We're like, not the in, into the industry that much to know. So it's okay not to know that. Damn it! Whatever category iTunes decides to give it. I I you know. Yeah, I think it's very interesting, but I also think the like there could it's always works like this where the the rock is oh going back to what I what we were talking about, which is yes, I think it's dead. Dude, I see what seems to be what will happen is a different version of it will come through, mm. whether it's retro or or modern or you know punk or whatever some version is going to come out and be like what's up we're the we're the new the style of this yeah and then everybody's gonna be like that's fucking rad yeah because i feel like you know much in the way that like these some of these rappers do like almost singing albums like you know 
even Travis Scott. I don't know if you can even consider that. I don't know what that. You know what I mean? Because it's pretty. It's pretty rock and roll what he's doing, and like has capability of doing. So I think with the, the like definition of it, would you say maybe? Anything? But like, there's punk elements to what that what's mm. going on there, and I just think that like I I think what's what might be the answer is to uncategorize music, okay? Because it's just so, sort of. This is it. I get oh, it. Get I it. get it. You I got get it. it now. You got it. Look, yeah, yeah. Just okay, like, you figured it out. Yeah, just okay. like how hip hop is trying to be like more rockish in a sense, like mm-hmm. you know, with the little Uzi verts and all that stuff. Right. Uh, rock music has to get has to get more hip hop. Thus, new metal. Thus, what Limp Biscuit is back, <laughs> bitch. Uh. Your dreams will come true once Limp Biscuit's back. Limp Biscuit, Sugar Ray, Three Eleven. I know, no joke. I think I was on TikTok back. the other day. Shame on me. Shame on me. We're gonna revive the dude from Lincoln Park. He's coming back too. As a hologram. As a hologram. With all due respect. And his and and literally with his corpse. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. That's not cool, guys. Uh, rest in peace. But right, uh, but they made a sp- a, sp- a splash, bro. That was the it was a vibe for a second. People were feeling that shit. However, inside when I was there and I was like watching it and yeah. seeing, I was like, nah, that's not for me. The yeah. Oh, and stuff like, like the vibe of it. The hologram. Well, like the guy in the limp when he put in, he had to put the contacts in every night. That's oh, exhausting. really? You know the little like it's his hard. eyes to be like beetles. Oh, really? Were they like that? I don't know. Damn. You don't remember that? I, that was a I shtick that you got to commit to, pal. It's Marilyn Manson right I there. I always dude. think about that. Like, what's my outfit and shit? Make it easy going. You know, make it make it simple. Make it classic. It's not the most annoying thing to put on contacts, but at the same time, it's like, it's, I mean, I mean, once you, you get really. You just had it, an incident where it almost fell out, right? You almost kicked it out. You were like fucking with your eye in it and almost yeah, busted right out. Yeah. <sighs> That's so fucking crazy. It doesn't it make you. You ever Sometimes just it'll go behind your eye and the, you'll lose that's it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I've 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 fucked with it before, but but then it was like it, once I was messing around with it casually, I think it was for Halloween. Oh, okay. I'm like, you know, your eyes um, are not bad. No, uh, but once I did that, like I had a night where I had to wear some like lizard eyes or some shit, and I was like, never again, yeah, never again. And I will always respect people who are very consistent about it. Um, I, my sister is very consistent about it. Uh. Very like, it's matter of fact. Poosh, she's like on top of it. But respect to all the contacts. Where I just think it's crazy that uh, as a human, you're just like attaching little windshields. Like it's like a, um, it's like iPhone. You know how they have iPhone case protect or the glass protectors? It's like you're just smearing the plastic on your eye and being like, that'll be on my eye for six hours. Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's weird. Fucking wild to me that we're just chill about like that. Like to me, the technology is weird because it's like, yeah. how is this little piece of plastic literally a piece of plastic that I can rip up with, the, with such ease? That you know is doing <laughs> yeah. so much work where it's, I can it's, see clearly. Yeah, it's right the now. corner of a Ziploc bag on your fucking eyeball, which is <laughs> so crazy to I me. Know. Shouts out uh, optometrist out there. Shouts oh yeah, out, it's shouts a out tough, optometrist boards. It's a tough. It's a tough competitive business. Shouts out uh, Katrina. Um, hmm. The uh, well, she's I, being an optometrist right now. She was my date. No, she was my date. Oh my god, oh. why did I say that? No, she was not my date. I she was not my date. <laughs> she was my partner in the wedding. Okay, oh damn, because fuck that. Cause oh, she, when they were done, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. She, okay. I was, I was uh, her partner. Got but it. She got a boyfriend. Oh shit, mm. I know. I've been paired up before. I've been like, oh, we're not gonna hook up. That's no. fine. That's fine. That's fine with me. Okay, she, just, she, she just so cool. you she know. Optometrist, shout out optometrist. Shout out to optometrist world and Katrina. Optometrist world, yeah, <laughs> which is a mouthful. It's a no. It's it's a it's a land. It's like a Disneyland place. Optometrist world, like Orlando, Florida world. Oh, that's not a real. That's not a real spot. What optometrist world or just the world of optometry? The world of optometry. Jesus, what are we even fucking talking? If about? you go to Orlando, Florida, you could go to the. Is that the where the trade show? Oh, that shut yeah. the fuck <laughs> up. Anyway, Katrina, give it up. Shouts out, Katrina. You're the best. Um, keep the up the good work, and <laughs> I guess you had to deal with this, with your boyfriend. <laughs> this, this pervert. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure though, because like I feel for people that have to throw weddings together because they're ha- they have to think about how to manage or herd people like and place them in places. I went yeah. to a dinner recently where I knew no one. Oof. And it was like it was like a hundred people. There. That fancy dinner. Yeah, that oh. fucking mad fancy dinner. 
and it was delightful that, but that it was also shit. like a weird stress too yeah dude straight fucking eyes wide shut now <laughs> They got all the masquerade. Mask- yeah. Oh, <laughs> wah, 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 wah. yeah. Like that scene out of Hitman, you know, where the, yeah. he's at the. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about a video game. Yeah. I made a By the way, we kind of picked that up and put it right back down. We did not go back to that. No. It was, I feel like, I don't know, if it, as, a, as a game, you got to want to go back and live this specific time because it resets yeah. the clock every time you start a mission in this video game called Hitman. It kind of resets the clock, so you know it, things can be uh, timed, and you can set bombs and traps and all these things. Did you say? Did you see how you said reset the clock, and then like a little thing went off at that time? Yeah, that's well, interesting. That was, yeah, we need a little mini fridge to be over here, so we can just douche. Yeah, douche. And the supplies, crack crispies, whenever we fucking want to. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway. Um. Yeah. The hitman. Here, but uh, as far as video games go, it, it, it's a little redundant. Ooh, sorry. Damn. I know controversial hey, drops. What do you think about The Sims? The games? Yeah, did you ever play I The Sims? I never did. <gasps> Ooh, never did. So much fun. Here's what I missed out on. That Super Smash Bros. Ooh. I missed that one. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Wow. Because I remember my my relatives just being like, what? Everybody used to play that. Oh, I don't know. And then they would just kill me, murder me, because yeah. I didn't have the years of experience. <laughs> Which you just don't want to get into that late. People make millions off of being good at that game. Those <sighs> competitions, dude. And, and I didn't realize that SpongeBob, Look Nickelodeon uh, came out with their own version to compete with it. Do you know that? No. Where you can be like SpongeBob and smack uh, one of the Rugrats or something like that. What about uh, Kingdom of Hearts? Did you, did, you, did you ever play that one? No, but I know it. Yeah. I never played it. All but the I random know all Disney characters and shit. Yeah. It's interesting. It's kind of cool that you can have. Remember, I liked. Um, Marvel versus Camcom. Okay, yeah, that was fun, but that was more like <coughs> I felt like one that was in a. It's like old, a, old, old timey. Like on the actual fucking arcade. Yeah, yeah. the arcade uh, with the joystick and all that. Still love that. Yeah, that's the cool. experience is still delightful. Yeah, and it's like even if it's on a per, because I know they like even in my Instagram feed, you know when they advertise to you, yeah. one of them that they advertised to me was a fucking fully programmable badass oh wow sleek too it was like mahogany you know it'd be great to get we do we should get uh like an old what? sega genesis no i have m- one of the small ones one of the babies the minis but those the ones that connect to the tv mm-hmm. dude i still got my PlayStation with too. the og controllers bro Damn. don't fucking come at me with that shit PS2's i got nerd great. shit for days i know i don't look like it but i got nerd shit for days ps2 is cool ps2 is fucking cool as shit the thing about PS2, though, is, uh, you know, I don't want to go on a little fucking rant right now, but well, they switched up rant. the fucking Sony shit, the fucking PlayStation shit, and they flipped it on you for where you were paying this annual fee, and now they tiered it out where Damn. there's Plus, Ultra members, all. Oh, and so they basically, basically system. what they did to everyone, yeah, they class systemed it out, and now they're like, okay, anyone who had the existing package... You're the bottom of the barrel. Damn. I got, and my shit's like, it's like, you know what I'm talking about when it's like essential or whatever. Like when Netflix just did. Yeah. What did they do? Right. Didn't they do the same shit where they no. can be like Netflix plus and like, <gasps> yeah. No. I don't know. Someone. Someone. No what are you way. fuckers? I can't keep track of them. Hulu has that premium shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. They, they tear like, it out on you yeah. and you're like left sitting there holding your fucking ass. And my point is, is that like I was, exp- I was fine with what was going on. I wasn't, never felt like you robbed me. Yeah. Um. Anyway, this is just a rant about PlayStation now. Fucking anyway, PlayStation. God damn you, Sony. You I just, you usually bitch. make smooth moves, and you don't have, you usually don't have. Yeah. That, like, now, yeah. don't get me wrong. Their free games sometimes were laughable. Whoa. Sorry. As a consumer, laughable. Because they were really funny and like the players and stuff, the, the storyline, like comical. No, like, are you shitting me, man? I played that like eight years ago. I'm not oh. going to play that again or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I, the, I think the whole point of this one right here, this hot take is that I need to stop playing video games. It's appalling. Damn. It's appalling. It's appalling. I think I got to start playing video games. I don't really play video games like that. I am just just I delighted got, when they have a good storyline. It's fucking great. I want to pick up playing a guitar. Assassin's Creed is great. Yeah, guitar's fun. Yeah, guitar's really fun. Hey, do you know how to play harmonica? You know I did, and then I don't. Huh? 
I remember playing it as a kid a lot more. Okay. But, Were but you any and good? And knowing, yeah, and knowing it too, I could get through something not good. Okay. Not good. Okay. I wasn't like fucking wailing on it like fucking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking, no, no. Yeah, like, um, fucking, uh, What's his name? Um, Nobody. We can't even think of a reference. Oh my God, <laughs> Bob, uh, Bob Dylan. Oh, Bobby D. Yeah, yeah. he. W- I, some would argue that he wasn't that great at really? it too. <laughs> well, I mean, he he played he played. It sounds. I mean, he was just harsh all around. His play, his voice, his fucking harmonica, but it all worked somehow. It was all rough around the edges. It all really felt very like harsh. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, it was your name. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's almost like it shouldn't have worked. It did. It did though. Yeah, I know, but it's it almost, somehow was the yeah. perfect combo. Yeah. Where I was he know. from? Minnesota from, originally. He, His he name was Robert Zimmerman. Yeah, dude. Oh God. Yeah, I know. I think it's funny when people are like, "My name's Bob Dylan." Now you're like, "Okay, you're just you're just gonna pick your fucking yeah, Ned." It's all. It's so amazing nowadays because I do feel like now, especially now, you could wake up today or tomorrow. Sorry, it's Wednesday. What day is it? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yep. So this will, this will be up. Then you mean today's Friday? I mean, today's Friday, guys. But uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I just think it's always interesting that um, right now, especially, you could just be like, "Nah, my name's this." Mm. Just be like, "I choose to name myself this," and just name yourself that. Yeah. I was reading about um, this cult because I read about one of the cults. Yeah. Where it was a stand, your standard issue cult. It had one like enlightened one, and he was all beardo, and basically it was just he kept a harem of like, I think I was watching a show about polygamy or something like that, and the, this was about this cult. Um, I hate polygamy. You hate polygamy? Yeah. Why? Because it just seems like too much work for you to have more than one wife. It's for ugly people. Wow. Okay. I said well, it. that's a nice. Nice opinion. That's not very nice of you. Man. <laughs> That's not very nice of you. You know what I mean? You, have you seen a polygamous family where you've been like, whoa, that's a harem right Let there. me ask you a question. Sure. When have you seen a really, really hot couple be fucking polygamous? Not swingers. Polygamous. Polygamous. <laughs> I'm not saying fuck somebody else. I'm saying have a whole other relationship with somebody else. Well, polygamy... Sorry, polygamy, for the most part. Sorry, is for ugly people. Oh, would you? you oh, would you, you agree with me? Sorry, oh, sorry, what? sorry. Gotta answer. Oh, she gotta agree answer. with me, hey, guys. Man, you know, I'm fucking very popular person. You agree with me, Drew? No, I w- don't ever. By the way, now I have to put all sorts of biochemicals on that and make sure that it's sterilized. Oh, we've shared a, a lot of things. <laughs> but the thing Shut about up. it is. Is that I think I think you're uh, you're not. I'm on here's to what I di- here's what yes you're on. You're right. I'm gonna no. Here's the thing. You're not right across the board. But I have not have yet to yeah. ha- hold on. Shut your mouth. Have yet to see one outside of these cults because I've seen cults where I'm like that woman is really. Mm-hmm really attractive or that man is really really attractive i can't believe he's in a cult but for the most part if i've seen like say for instance a tlc show with uh, like my polygamous family or something like that it's generally some middle america you know heifers exactly whoa Isn't whoa that a word? bro whoa <laughs> not <nah>, cool dude <laughs> <laughs> what is the right word um, what would be politically correct is what I'm saying. Fucking pig. <laughs> no, dude. Dude, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, dude? Dude, where's my car? Huh? I listen. Dude, where's my <laughs> car? I listened to a podcast recently where the person hosting the podcast must have said the F word. Not. You know, the F word. Okay, yeah. Um, People say it all the time, About a million times. And I was like, is that word now out there in the open for anybody to grab onto? And and Because for me, it feels like it's not. But is it? Gay Pride Month at that, guys. Gay Pride Month. Dude, um, yeah. This fell right into, yeah. Oh, my bad. Sorry, not Gay Pride. Pride Month. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Uh, Shouts out. LGBTQA plus two in it. (laughs) 
that is offensive. What you just did right well, there. Uh, no way. So let's try to keep it clean, <laughs> lean, and clean, please. Okay. Okay. Like eating good meats, like lean meats, like grilled <laughs> chicken and salmon and dog. <laughs> I just think that you come to realize that polygamy, what's the b- huge benefit? What's the big benefit? I don't know. I guess you're having sex with more than one person, but who, what's is it really worth it if you're having to juggle whole other relationship though? Like, damn, people can barely do it with one person. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people out there that would that fantasi- fantasize about what it is, but wouldn't really want all that because most of it is to have children, right? It's to have like multiple wives with I multiple guess. kids. I don't know. Spreading the seed far and wide. I think that's the. the if you want to know what thrills a polygamist, I think psychologically speaking, it's got to be either religious. Yeah. Right? It's religious. Yeah. They're, they're God-fearing Christians. That's what's so bizarre. Yeah. Um, and then, um, but then there's this like one caveat. Aren't they? Are they religious? Uh, well, they might be Mormons. Mormons. Which, which is Mormon. like, that's like a popular notion, uh, I guess, and in the religion. Did, why but did that become popular in the Mormon church? Do you know? I have no idea. Let's not get too into this because I feel like we don't know anything. Well, I, you know, like, I mean, it's f- interesting because like in Islam, when I think about it, like, I mean, that, that, that's not, it's like not. Is that frowned upon over there? Well, it's nah, more, that's where the harem came from. It's like a more outdated thing. It's not usually like a thing anymore for the most part. But like, I mean, I guess it still kind of happens. But for the most part, I guess it's not like a real, I mean, just like kind of with the Mormons, like it does happen now and again. Uh-huh. Right? Like in some, I'm sure there are pockets of it, but I guess it's not really, really like a popular thing. Is is maybe it was before? I don't know. I, I I honestly, well, I guess I was watching this Netflix show about polygamy. Yeah, would you like uh, it? Would you do it? it? Just no. Yeah. It, nothing about it, dude. No, no disrespect to you. I think it's great that people can pick whatever they want to do. Shouts out my ex girlfriend in a polygamous relationship. For real. <laughs> Yeah, or she was, but now what? Yeah, or she was in one, and then like I don't think she is anymore because she realized that her and that dude like wanted to like, to like be together. So it's like, duh, obviously it don't work. That sounds like a. It's like you know. That sounds like a mono, right? Yeah. What do you what, yeah. what do you mean? It's a mono. Meaning like, not polygamy, but um. Oh yeah. Monogamous relationship. Yeah, no, because he was in a polygamous relationship, and then she was in one with like that dude and some other dude, and then but then like the the, the one was non-binary or something, and um, it's <laughs> I'm not dropping names. <laughs> I've had more than one girlfriend. I've had like three. That's okay. That's probably the most shocking part of it. <laughs> I was like, when what other girlfriend are you talking about? Yeah. Now that you got polygamous girlfriends, my polygamous girlfriend. Fridays on Fox. Yeah, the, cool. the I guess the thing about watching them ex- like do their thing is that it really it's like it's it's what we fantasize about is like the, oh my god I got all these partners but what you don't realize is the actuality of it is that oh my god I got all these people to feed and all these like children around yeah. now and everybody's living by the book. It's not like yeah. a freak show orgy. It's like actually not qu- like maybe it is, I don't know, behind closed doors. Maybe it is because that's how I feel like you get away with anything with, with strict religion. Right. Is yeah. You just, you just shut the door and no way. Cause you know how freaky the Catholics were. They're freaky deeks. Dude. Yeah. I just took it in the butt. Yeah, Catholic Church makes excuses for just about any kind of dude, behavior. You don't even know how much anal sex I had in high school, bro. Like all the guys are just sticking in me <laughs> and during pee, you know. <laughs> this is uh, you're gonna stick with this, huh? Uh, well, I don't know. This is more that was more self-deprecating than I anything. I just think it's so funny the 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 style of the chopping the the, the comedy up for you is shock, uh, shock humor. <laughs> yeah, you just I never thought you'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna do the <laughs> Andrew Dice Clay <laughs> thing. <laughs> It's just not what I expected you to pick. What did you think I was going to do? Fucking Carlos Mencia? Or what? Like, <laughs> do a lot of Latin jokes, you mean? Oh, my God. I, it's do funny. a lot of, like, you know, my mother says, da da da, you know. I was thinking, I was like, I have to really incorporate more, like, Hispanic themed jokes in, in my in my, wor- my stuff now. You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, think- I was thinking about this one, like, oh, man, I, I went back to Guatemala the other day. And, you know, when I got there, it was, it was, it was nuts because. There were all these kids in the village that came and they were just like, you know, showering us with like gifts and everything. And yeah. I like, I turned to my dad and tell him, dad, get them the fuck away from us. <laughs> you know, like, 
God, <laughs> you fucking smell. And you know, I'm sorry to I all thought, the listeners and the people out there that, was that great. had to sit through that. I'm I debating that. whether or not I'm going to have my <laughs> editor take that out. <laughs> fucking, an- you're but that one's great because you know, it's like right. I could just get these nasty kids away from me. Yeah, yeah. You're a po- you're 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 you know. It's part of the reason why you're you are part of the problem. You're not part of the solution. I'm not, I'm not part of any solution, no uh, doubt. You are definitely part of the problem. Well, no, I just think it's so crazy yeah. that... Um, yeah, it does kind of blow my mind. And for y'all that don't know, the, the kind of joke style uh, he is currently performing on stage. So if you do go to one of his shows... Just be ready. Just be ready to be offended immediately. Like, nobody is sacred. And frankly, not, especially not you. Don't be a fucking pussy. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> what a glowing you gotta be cool. advertisement for uh, your your um, your shows, man. I'm very excited. I don't want you. cool people to show up, so. Uh, <laughs> so that'll be very exciting to see. Nobody shows up. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn That's an omen. It's just, you know what it is, man, is I just got to stop stacking things everywhere. Yeah. I'm a big stacker. Mm. Stack shit everywhere. It doesn't work. It's not a way of getting rid of stuff. It just merely puts it in a formation. Like your new shoe rack? Yeah, like my new shoe rack. But that actually is pretty custom good. Custom made, custom made in the shade. <laughs> it No, it's incredible. It's it, it's offensive for how many shoes it holds. Yeah. Because that's a f- fucking habit of a child and somebody that isn't a grown-up. Yeah. Right? But I chose a path. I chose a path. Chose a path. And I got to get the fucking... Uh, shoe rack to to hold it, and I think everyone would agree with me that like, listen, if you're gonna make a stupid decision, at least put some fucking rims on it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd be an idiot. Fuck it, I don't care anymore. I've just had some really really awkward experiences going to places mm-hmm. recently. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. How so? Elaborate, please. I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about. I won't dance around it. Or anything. Don't dick tease me, dude. All right. Not a chance. I'm just gonna get right and uh, like right to it. Uh, everything seems to be eh, just a little bit more uh, expensive, and everything takes a little bit longer to get. Mm. That's fine. I get it. It's part of what we're dealing with in the economy, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. I don't really know because I'm I don't understand any of the money and how it works, why or why everything sucks right now. But yeah. um. Or, or at least if it's expensive. Um, every time I listen, watch the news, it's like breaking record. You yeah. know. Um, anyway, that's fine. You got to deal with it. You adjust accordingly. You budget. I, I feel like somehow the other day I spent forty five minutes getting a cup of coffee. Wow. It took forty five minutes. <laughs> Not an espresso. Yeah. Coffee. A, two, a, a cup of joe. Not even hot coffee. Not. Oops, we're out. Give me five minutes to brew uh, another pot. Well, you can go to McDonald's. Ice time. coffee. Oh, what? So that's pour ice, pour ice coffee, put a lid on it, say, Drew, your order's up. Somehow. They had a lot of iced coffees. Something and the like. thing is, man, they get you right up front with the iPad. So right away, I got asked, I, I get asked... 20% or the super great job 25% or whatever and you're you're given and I know I don't I know this isn't just my neighborhood I know this is everywhere you you plug in the tip I haven't seen the service how would I know what tip you deserve if I haven't seen you do the thing yeah and then tip you but because it's so ass backwards I have to tip you first service unseen right yeah. That's already a little, hmm. Then somewhere in the mix-up, <coughs> I drink your water. Thank you. Not trying to be confrontational. Wait patiently after I order the, yeah. uh, right? Because they're just like, okay, thank you very much. Get out of the way. Yeah. The next customer. Shoot. It'll be over there somewhere. You mean Nothing. And this is coffee. This is pretty good coffee. The coffee itself, pretty good. Better than Stumptown coffee. Stumptown's pretty good, but this coffee is good, and it's it's like 
It's okay. It's is a ten it, minute wait. It's pretty cool. Is it cool. artisan? I would say that it's it's overpriced. Are the beans one hundred percent arabica? I mean, it's there. Whatever you're doing, okay. okay. Yeah, right. you fucker. But what I'm, I guess, what I'm boiling it down to is that somewhere along the way they forgot to even that to do it. So, Damn. and now I had to go. Oh, I know they forgot because they're standing staring at me, and I'm staring standing at them, and I'm like, I don't think you remember that I'm waiting on an iced coffee. Mm-hmm. And so now we get an it's a it's it's a passive aggressive aggressive standoff. It's like an anxiety standoff. They're getting slammed. No, they're not busy at all. What the fuck? They're just standing there, and I go, "Oh, you." The only other excuse would be that you don't know, you forgot that my order. Yeah. So now it was on me to go over and be like, "Hey, What's how up? about that iced coffee?" Yeah. Try to ease into it because you don't want to fucking come at them. It's late in the day. It was like three p.m. They've already had a day of fucking monsters and people with laptops being like, I live here. I can't deal with it myself. So I uh, customer to customer. I understand. It. I'm trying to keep it cool, calm, collective. So I go over there. I crack a joke and a smile. Just like, hey, man. They finally are like, oh, your eyes. Right. This whole thing. The only reason I know it is because my watch told me. But it was like you just spent 45 minutes getting an iced coffee. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What, what, let, what, what I guess the lesson here is for everyone involved to not waste time. <laughs> yeah. That shit was brutal, bro. Dude. It's a, how long was the wait, you think? The total wait time was 45 minutes. Jesus Well, from, or, from walking in and walking out. Jesus And I remember Christ. just being like, yeah, that's what I mean. Well, I had a period of probably 20 minutes alone waiting in line. Because when I got in, it was like four deep. Oh, shit. And I was like, fuck, four deep. And then I realized everybody was ordering food. I was just saying, it took that long for people everybody to order? Was order- five minutes to fucking order and a they person had to or what? Ch- and somehow she had to check in the kitchen for every order. <laughs> oh, shit. So she had to be like, let me just check and see if there's any more of those. And she would bullet to the back and come back. And she'd be like, yeah, well, there's one left. We'll do it. And I think they're just running really light or whatever. And I think that obviously we are living post pandy you know, they got everybody has shrunken teams, but I just was like blown away. That was like, wow, that's yeah. a pretty interesting experience. Also, bro, side note, not so boring for me, but hella boring for the world. But I'm gonna talk about parking tickets. They're back, bro. Yeah, they're out there, little gremlins, dude. dude. Zzz, I see. I saw one get out of this car. He had lightning timing. Yeah. Um. So anyway, uh, it's just wild seeing like the city's like, we're barely back to life. Don't worry. We'll ticket your vehicle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Well, first things first. Let's not get the cops or the police out there to solve the crime. Just an utterly ridiculous waste of money. Instead, let's just start ticketing the fucking people. Oh. The city and the residents themselves. Sorry. Meters expired. Fuck you, forty six dollars, bro. It's like you're really, you really, you really know how to put. It's like such a toxic relationship, this city, yeah. you know. But I would. I, I feel bad for the people doing it. What do you mean doing like it? You sh- like you should have to hate that job. Like I hope they don't take pleasure in. doing There's that. no way they took pleasure. I told you when we, my my man do. Mike, our friend, our mutual friend Mikey C, he parked in Hollywood and it was well past the time. It was like. Till 8 or whatever. It was 8.30 or some shit like that. I'm like, he kept staring at the sign, making sure he knew. And I was like, I get people staring. Staring as long as you want. Yeah. Because you could get fu- fucking yeah. tripped up in a second. In this city? This city, you got fucking head on a swivel. Bob and weave. And so he sees that there's a fucking parking enforcement person behind him. He goes over and he rattles on the fucking window. And I'm like, Mike. Like, I remember being like, Mike, what the fuck? Don't, hey, stop. And he was like, I got this. Oh, he's just asking a question, though. Yeah, he's like, don't fucking... Yeah. But this woman was on the D right away in the car, in the vehicle. She was on the D right away. She thought he was going to be come at her, right? And and she, and he's like, roll down the window. And she's like, what? And he's like, roll down the window. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, dude. He was not having it. Oh, like, shit. I'm going to ta- I'm gonna ask you through the window type shit. And she was like, all right. So she rolls it down. But like, she rolls it down a little bit, you yeah. know? Yeah. And Mikey's a charming guy, if y'all don't know. And he was just like, hey, I just want to know, like, if I move my car over here, 
that it's not because I know sometimes when you move your car over here, you get a ticket. And she, and she goes, yeah, you're not wrong. But that's the right. That's that's the other street where if like you move your car, you'll get a ticket okay, or some shit. He knew some rule, but it was the other street. Okay. I don't even I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I don't. That, that's yeah, not real. It makes no sense. Makes no okay, sense. Sure. I know. I knew it. <laughs> don't you have to tell me twice. Click the dislike button. I don't care. But we'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it all. Um no, but he was literally like, yo, man, I've gotten stung in this sound so many times that I will literally ask a parking enforcement. That's great. Even if I, even if I know I'm solid as a yeah. rock. Yeah. You never know, honestly. It might, it might just be that parking enforcement person who makes a mistake Dig it. under their own like discretion, you know? And so yeah. the rules are always janky. I don't janky. think they like their job at all. I think uh, you have to... I think to... some people do. I've seen Parking Wars on A&E. Have you seen that? No, is that... Oh, it's okay. It's great. But it, like, is it here, though? L.A. is so... Oof. It, it focuses on places like Boston, yeah. Philly. Oh, dude, okay. Those that are pretty wild. rough. That yeah, wild, that sounds really dude. rough. Dude. I would not want to be a parking enforcement officer in philadelphia no at all. Way. it's crazy what goes you, on over there. you are it would, i know how to i would probably just because i'm from well sort of i'm uh, there as well as many other places but like i'm i've lived there long enough that i could probably get my way out of it yeah so i would feel like of the two cities i definitely won't prefer working boston but only because i would know a little bit of the fucking sideways ways to get out of it yeah but no, nobody wants that job, bro. Nobody, nobody wants that fucking job. Benefits I don't think must be nice, huh? Benefits must be nice. I don't know, man. I feel like the the low key winner is the the postal service. I got into it with a parking dude one time, um, in a Pasadena. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, when I at the when I used to like live in Pasadena for a bit. And this, I, he, I got ticketed so many times parking my car outside. And so then, like, I see the parking guy and I have, like, groceries and food. And I, I, t- I started talking. I'm like, hey, like, I see him ticketing somebody. I'm like, hey, like, can you do that? Like, you're parked in the red. And, and he's, and I don't know what. So I was just, I was just arguing for no reason with him. And so, like, he literally, me and him, like, were, like, face to face. And we we're just like, I don't know. I was just saying, like, what he's doing, what he's doing is fucked up. And he was just being a fucking dick. So I didn't even care. Oh yeah, well yeah. it's just like I could imagine. Can but you? I mean, I I'm trying to put dick. myself in his shoes, and you coming at me would be highly shitty. Yeah, like a lot of shittiness. I if like I didn't a, know you, yeah, I'd be like, dude, what are you doing to me right now? Hey, I'm a peppery person. Peppery? Yeah. Like I got a kick. A spicy to me. maybe. I got a kick to me. Yeah, you're like piss and vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> Do they mix well? I can't imagine that that's a good combination, but it's spicy for Is sure. Is it like oil and vinegar, you know? No, that separates. Okay. You fucking that's what I mean. You could. Science class. Um, but anyway, I feel like um, we're living in some pretty harrowing times right now, meaning like we have all this crime, and I love seeing that like this is how we solve it. We're going to go ahead and... Start ticketing people immediately. <laughs> That's fucked up. I hate it. They were out in full, like, pew. Like, they're, you know, here, out here they're in little Priuses. And it's like they... In the year 2020, I accumulated $1,000 worth in parking tickets. That I know for a fact is true. Yeah. It might, you might be lowballing right now. A little, because a little you were over a thousand. It was like 1100 bro. You were like a savage about it. Yeah, it's really bad. I got, I got stung, um... Man, I got stung when I was living over on the east side because we had street cleaning and my roommate th- at the time wouldn't pull up f- far enough in our driveway for me okay. to park behind him. So and you'd be in the driveway, like like on the street? No, I did that once, learned my lesson instantly. That was yeah. a ticket, yeah. not a pretty one. If your butt's in the street, it's not a good one. These handicapped people can't get through. It's so terrible. It's so rude to even do it, but also the people that do it are just like chancing the ticket, I think, too, because mm-hmm. they got to know, because it's such an obvious dick move. It's like, you know what an obvious dick move is? What? Backing into a parking spot. You're a fucking dick. What do you mean? Nose out. The- like, ha- what's, like, What's the big deal with that? Head in, bro. It's a, it's not. I think it's, it might be an insurance problem. Actually. I didn't know that. Yeah, for real. It's childish, and it's like, how, why are you backing in? What does it What does it mean when you do that? And it, I didn't know that was like a bad thing. I just thought it was like a preference. Just the next time you see somebody 
back in into their spot yeah. rather than especially at a parking garage for instance uh-huh I'm not talking about anywhere i'm not talking about your driveway back into your driveway if you want okay i'm talking parking structures but like what's the significance behind it though like why does it like why is it bothersome like is it was, does it make it harder for the other person i guess or what i just think backing in is a chach move it's never crossed my mind i don't think it's necessary for anybody unless you're showing off probably what i don't get it are dude. you serious i just don't get it <laughs> Like, I've never really done that. I just thought it was more of a nuisance to do it from the beginning because then I have to, like, back in. Are you in. fucking shitting me? Like, you don't think about things like this? This is... I, you know what? It makes sense never because... thought about it. This explains why never, I'm a fucking ever. lunatic. I, it's me. I'm the crazy <laughs> one. Because this, I, I, I sit and dwell on things like this. I need the, I want opinions from people. Like, make this into a clip so people... I, in like, comment down below because I'm interested. Is Nose backing in... Yeah. in Nose out a douchey move or a fucking. Sorry, let me rephrase yeah, that. Rephrase, yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> Is backing your car in in a parking structure mm-hmm. a chotch move? Okay. <laughs> or do you not even consider it? And you're like Adolfo over like, here who literally <laughs> is, says to me, What are you talking Are you a what are you talking about kind of guy? Or are you like, oh, that's a chotch move? Or are you, a, guy. Or are you the chotch guy? It's like, fuck Or yeah. are you the chotch guy that's like, yeah, that's my move. I do that because I have what like a, it? yeah, I have a fucking nice car or whatever. Anyway. Big trucks do it, I feel. But. On that fucking thrilling topic and, and discourse and debate, um, we will find out maybe the answer to that question uh, in the next episode. Uh, but this right here was episode 61 of True Stories. Thank you so much for joining us in whatever kind of format even in the nine seconds that I'll probably cut this down to um, I am Drew Brooks as always that's Adolfo Roy you can find us in very 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 quickly so please uh, take care of yourself